starting to look real small. Probably need to put these in a bigger pot or put them in the ground. I'm thinking about them in the ground in the greenhouse. We got this one in a tall pot right here. Does really well. I got it as a little seedling. Well, I was worried a while ago that these came male, female, but all of my plants are setting fruit. Some made male flowers, then they made androgynous flowers. So they all are fruiters. And then now this is what we do is we come in and we nip the tip. Let's get, let's keep this thing. One, I like this tree a lot. So I wanna take some cuttings off of this tree. Two, yo, this is my favorite one. And I'll show you how I graft a few. We're not gonna do a long video. Three. Oh. Look at these are four. I love the leaves on this one. Five. Six. Uh, little guy. Seven. Ooh, it's a nice end. Eight. Nine. Big guy. Uh oh. Ten. Eleven. Some really nice ones at the top. Twelve. I'm really just grafting from this tree because it's my favorite. It's got the most fruit set on it. So I'm grafting from this one. I just like this tree. I like the way it looks. It's always been my favorite tree. I'm grafting from that tree. And I don't have a name for it, but it's the one I like. I want one more off of the top. I'm almost got to get up in on a ladder, step in the pot maybe, see if I can do this. It's hard to film it. Oh, uh, knock off some fruit. Uh, I don't know. I'll take a couple of these here. Are these them? Yeah. Ooh. There's a bunch too. I drop them. I drop one here. There. Almost need like a trash ba bag to put them in or some shit. I think it's the last one I'll take right in here. This big boy there. Uh oh. This wire is not supposed to come down like that. That's bad. I gotta zip tie that back. I think it's not good. Wonder how I did that. Must have pulled on it. Oh fuck. Get it. there's a sap that comes off of these. Getting all over me. Yes. Some of the plants might need to be watered. Oh, oh, this had a, oh, never mind. I thought it had a flower on it, it didn't. This thing's got a flower any time now. It's a grafted one I made a while ago. I hear a bald eagle. Squeak. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Yeah, they squeak. Squeaky bird. Yeah. You hear them chirping? Yep. There they. Going after your seals. 
Yeah, those are them right there. Yeah, let's see if I can get a picture of them. Where's Kitty? It's like a mating pair. Baltic eagles. <laughs> they have kids. You know, I'm gonna back up right over there. Okay. Right here. Okay. We go where eagles dare. Huh? Kitty likes riding. She's in the truck? Yeah. He's got his cat in the truck. Come here, Rex, come. Rex, come. Over here. Come here, come. Come here, come. Watch out. Uh. Watch out, Rex. Get I, a little further back. Cut the wheel a little more. Yeah, if you stop right there, stop and then pull forward. I guess so. Yeah, that's it right there. Where's your kiki at? She's on top of the seat. Huh. I thought that was her meowing. It's a cat bird, though. When when we drove around this side, she had her hands on the wheel like she was driving. <laughs> that'd have been a good picture. So what we do is. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah. Take that, flip it around. Usually one of these root stocks works really well to hold it. That'll work for now. Oh no. These new phones are harder to balance. What's up, gang? Now I have a brand new roll of tape. Let's use this other one up first. And then you got all the signs. Let's take them over here and process them. Oh, they get the sticky goo all over you. Some tape from me, homie. Okay. Should I do this first or yeah, wrap tape it up, as I go? Wrap it up real quick, yeah. Okay. It's always better to instead of setting them down to get dirty or whatever. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. This is the last time I will ever fall. Yeah, so I've been grafting these in the past. And I kind of was taking it easy, not knowing if they would fruit all alone. But uh, they fruit really well by themselves. Just takes a while for them to actually do it. I'd imagine a grafted tree could take anywhere from three to seven years to actually fruit. I don't know. It takes a while. I've got some that are three years old on big rootstocks 
But I, I don't know. It takes a while. They got to get mature, settle in. But I see people get lucky and their tree throws a fruit really fast. And the trees I grafted were... Bef All right, let me think of how to say this. I was grafting my trees years ago before my trees started flowering. And now they're flowering, so we're taking more mature wood. But I don't know if that makes any sense at all. But it's, it's whatever. I think you got a good chance of getting fruit sometime relatively quick. Quicker than a seedling, that's for, for certain. Uh, Garciniers are really easy to graft, wouldn't you say? Yes. Yeah, they're one of the most forgiving, easiest. I like grafting them a lot. Me too. Yeah, it's fun. I'm glad I got into it because really, before I was in the industry in Florida, huh, there was who who was selling grafted Garcinias? Not a lot of people. Mm. There was no reason to graft them. The only thing that they would try to graft was a, a mangosteen, probably. I mean, I don't remember seeing much grafted. Who brought the first lemon drop seeds in? Who knows? That They've been here for years. They've mm. been at Fruit and Spice Park for years. I mean, probably the fucking Wilson Popino or whatever his name is. Bill Popino, whatever his name is. I don't know. Great question. Jonathan Crane. Uh, what's his name would know? Chris Rollins. I don't hear from him anymore. He was one of, I'll tell you what, one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Hmm, what happened to him? He retired. He used to work at Fruit and Spice Park and be like the main guy there. Mm -hmm. And he retired. He was counting the days to retirement. I remember he's like, yeah, he's like, it's like 38 more days, 900 days. Or whatever. I'm out of here. Yeah, and then he started his own farm and it's temperate fruits. He was doing everything tropical, but he moved to the temperate climate and he, he specializes in that. Yeah. Little guy. He knew so much, he would walk around and he would just take people on the tour and it was like an encyclopedia, bro. At his place? No, Fruit and Spice Park. Oh, he was a guide there too? He was the guy that like planted everything. No way. And like, you know, the curator. The... Mr. Fruit and Spice Park. Yeah, for many years. And when he left, dude, it was like, kind of like, it was a little bit of a change for him. Let's just say that. Had to get probably it. for the park too yeah because i remember a lot of trees really suffered after he left not up to his standard i don't know maybe something happened i don't know it was bad season too a lot of their java de cabas were dying off and i got a call from one of the people there being like can you maybe help us out our, our trees are looking like they're dying and i was like really I was like well, how much rain have you had what are you watering them with or what are you right. feeding them yeah, I have to, you fertilize them lately? I think it was a really bad drought, and they had to rely on whatever their water was, maybe. Uh, I see. That's what I'm guessing, but they had a bunch of them. They, like, their kombucha died. He was, they were, something they were doing different when he was there or something, but it was bad. They used to have some really nice fruiting kombuchas. They looked so weird. They were, like, 40 years old and only, like, 10, 12 feet tall because wow. of the hurricanes and just, like... Oh, yeah. Hostile yeah. weather. And then the tap root not being able to grow down through the lime rock. You need more tape? Nope. Right. Oh, it's growing on coral. Yeah, that lime rock shit. Oh, that's, like, South Miami? I hate it, yeah. Mm. Redlands. Here's some gunfire. Could have been a dump truck. That's what I tell people when they're here. My friend was like, what was that? I was, he's like, is that a gun? I was like, no, nah, that's a dump truck. And he was like, what? I was like, it's construction. I was like, you're fine. When people get worried about it, that's what you got to tell them. It's going to be fine. They're just hammering in some nails, man. It's a dump truck. Semi-automatic dump truck.
All right, now the, the main the main reason of this video is for me to show this trick I always do. Very important. We're gonna count the scions up in a second. Take Clark's, his look wrapped really good. He's learned a lot since he's been here. All right, right here I've got five, 10, and then he's got, these are not even. These are nothing. That's from that one. Is. Yeah, that one. Is. That's from yesterday. Or oh, okay. We're not going to use them. So we have any more signs? That's it. That's all that you clipped. That's man. all I clipped. 14, right? 14. Okay. So let me show you. Right. Let me wrap this real quick. Yeah. You obviously want to use the biggest. If we have a bunch of scions, you gotta use your biggest rootstock for the biggest scions. It doesn't matter if you graft into the green wood or the brown wood. Well, we're, bra we're grafting into the brown wood today on this. We're gonna clip it down to a straight straight part of the tree. We're gonna slamatize our knife. I already did mine. I didn't do mine, but that. Because I'm hygienic. Yeah. There's a liquor store back in Oahu called the Hygienic Store. Yeah. Someone sent me a song to play for you. It was something about Hawaii and lychees and shit. You maybe have heard it. Mr. Chen Chen or something. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's uh it's, uh it's like 50 years old maybe yeah it's just something that they were like see if you've heard this it was about see, it's like a folk song yeah like leeches and shit this land is your land this land is my whatever okay alcohol look at this big daddy see this is the issue look at the we got we got what's called a discrepancy in size so we're just lining up one. No. One side. No. That's not true. Not at all. You're not gonna have to do them this big. I'm doing this one just because it's one of the ones. But look, you need a long cut. Mm -hmm. So you start in the middle. And then you really just steer the knife through, make sure you're not going one way or the other too much. And then split. Guide it. Oh, gotta go that way. eyes aren't what they used to be okay there's a knot right there I'm not gonna try to go too much past that Do a nice long cut like that now on this we have to there's there's usually a look there's a it's compressed fat side skinny side you got to find the skinny side that's the this is the fat side we want to cut along the skinny side so you see what I'm saying? There's the yeah, the I, fat I understand the about the fat and skinnies. Okay, fats and the skinnies, and then look, we're gonna look at the same length, and it's really just like this. Like you're just running up like that, straight down. That was almost a little too much. On the skinny side. On the skinny side. That was almost too much taken out, but we can still do it. Don't worry. And then just even like just just to, that was perfect like that. Even a little more maybe, just a shave, just a shave. That's perfect like that. Look at all that cambium, all that space. That's all within this U. That's all live shit. Like it's all a take. Just gotta match up. Now this is the part where the come down. Okay. Yeah. And that could be enough. You could stop it right there and do it like that. Sometimes I do. We may as well, but sometimes I do the other one too. But this will work like that. So those are the cuts. And then like this. Like that. But I'm gonna trim this up a little bit. So like I asked you before, you're just riding it along one side of the cambium. No, it's on both sides. I'm gonna do this, just shear this up a little bit like that. See, I did it like that. I like when it does that. Okay. But see, I did, I made it to a point like that and it just makes it sit a little better and then now we can trim this up a little bit you find which way it sits in there better mm -hmm. right about like, like that this needs to be trimmed to right about here 
put it down in there. Could trim that even more. Or cut real long. on both sides touching and wrap from bottom to top just to hold it in place make sure everything's lined up seal that seal it up and then let's see if we can show it to the camera there's a gap at the bottom we'll close that up but you see it it, line, it goes along Now we gotta be careful to do this. Even though it doesn't matter if there's a gap at the bottom, you wanna gently take- You mean at the bottom of the scion? Yeah. We're gonna wrap it up like this. Not too hard along these parts, but along the bottom, I wanna kinda seal that in a little bit there. Like that. And then we'll look at it, hold it up to the sun and see how much Light's coming through. We're looking good. No light coming through. I, I closed that gap up. I wrapped it real tight along there. And then not real tight along here. Didn't need to be wrapped real tight. But that's how I like to do them. With the big Zion, skinny rootstock. We'll do one more. Let me dry one. Yeah, I'm going to do this. We'll get, okay, get, I'll, go, watch, I'll watch you do another. Go, go get yourself the biggest rootstock you can find. Okay. Looks like a damn cucumber when you cut it. Yeah, right. Look like a darn cucumber. Can I see? Mm-hmm. Oh. It's just a straight cut all the way down, and you put that in there. Yeah. And then put it like that, and then you squeeze it together. Okay. I'll watch you do one. You're not going to have to do it this exaggerated. Because, right. Because the That's one... That's a real skinny one and a fat Yeah, scion. the ones I'm leaving you with are smaller and smaller. The scions, so that you... Can you, you recycle these? You can, and I... No, I, it was a joke. No, I, that's why I saved them. Yeah, yeah, I think you could... I'd use those on the tips. I know, but I'm afraid they're dirty. But, yeah, oh, you're, yeah. you're probably right. Today, hitting it. A little bit chilly. I like it though. Me too. Yeah, it feels good. I like it better than 105. Or whatever it was yesterday it was kind of brutal. Even yesterday it was only like 80 something. Yesterday it was nice. It was nasty. I'm not missing the mosquitoes either. Oh yeah, I forgot that those are really not in great numbers now. Not missing them. No. It was a mosquito genocide. Yeah. Fucking mosquitoes.
gonna wrap that up a little better at the bottom. Let's just seal it in one more time. Should be good. I wish this thing worked. Trash, dude. So, that was my trick for grafting. Um, I'll try to watch Clark do one and we'll cut it off. So you got your cut, nice long cut in there. How far down? You haven't gone down too far, huh? Uh, about one and a half, maybe two. The cut needs to be much deeper. Oh. Okay. Maybe I'm missing. It's to right there. Is it a little deeper? Okay. Just keep it straight centered. I'll tell you when. Wouldn't be worried about going too deep, actually, because you can always trim it. That knot's bothering you a little bit. Almost there. A little further. That may work. I mean, that's good. That may work. Now you're going to cut your scion. Biggest one. There it is over there. Right there in your tape roll. Where's the other ones? All over here, but I picked the biggest one. Why did you pick the biggest one? To give you a challenge. Okay. I think that's just me. Yeah. Real shallow. That's perfect. Other side. I think shallow, shallow. Shaving. Jack plane. Wood shop. That'll work. Let me see it. Hold still. Now cut that tip like I showed you where you cut through the go over at the very end and do your the arrowhead cut. Oh yeah. Okay. It's like a straight through. And then the other side, you gotta arrowhead it. Do the other side too. Oh wait, hold it still. Fuck. Let me see the other side. That'll work. You'll get better. That'll work. Go for it. Now insert. And you may take the edge of your knife and trim this. You know how to yeah. do the edge trim thing? Yeah. Clean. Insertation. Well, that's good. You're good where you're at right there. Perfect. I like to really? leave. Yeah, I like to leave. I I don't like the way the bottom is. I like to leave that little church house window. Let me see the bottom. Like, hold it. Move your hand out of the way. What are you talking about? You don't like the way the bottom is. That's clean. Oh, it's, okay. it's done deal. Done deal. That's how I like them, right like that. Yeah, here. It's toilet paper, dog. Use their less. Yeah, that's the end of that roll. Very well. And you could push the scion down, like mush it down in there a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, well, that's what I was asking the second one. Well, you just push it in a little harder. Okay, push. Push down a little bit. You're good. It'll work. Nice. So that was it. And then we can ceremonially cut this off of my roll and begin a new cycle. Season for grafting is beginning here. A brand new ro roll of buddy tape. This is 
I gotta figure out how to get this off without fucking it up. So if you if you don't feel the need to do it so much and you feel like you can get away with the cleft, then run a cleft. You know what I mean? Yeah. As but opposed to what? I mean, if you don't have that huge discrepancy and your rootstocks line up, just doing. Oh, conventional. Yeah, just a regular. Exactly. That would be like an elongated cleft or whatever. I'm gonna leave these scions right here. And then, okay. and then I'm gonna get I'm gonna get leave you with the rubbing alcohol, and a brand new roll of tape. Now let's keep this roll of tape real, real clean. So I'll label them like that. Yeah. It's backwards. The way they start these rolls off pisses me off. It's like taped, and I can't ever. Okay, that's good tape right there. We're gonna set that right. Well, can't do that. It's a good root stock right there. That's good tape right here too. It's a good piece right here. Yeah, no, right that's just when I pulled up. Okay. We're gonna save all that tape right there, and then we could probably set it right there. Be clean. Okay. And then you wanna wear the wear wear the roll. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, it's just a lemon drop mangosteen is the rootstock. It's a good rootstock for a bunch of them. This is a nice bed of leaves we can keep these on, or maybe right there. As long as they're not in the sun, they're fine. Oh, because you got to take these boxes. Yeah. I could leave the box here. She does? She's, yeah. Oh, she likes the car. I found an extra Scion over here we can grab. Tape. Stepped on the tape. You don't want to put these in there. It's dirty. That's fucking dirty. You can't do that. It's not a good place at all. An old dirty thing. Okay. Here, just leave it in the fucking box here. Just take the box back later. The box will serve you well to keep. There's some uh, tape in there. You see the tape? This is your good tape. And then just, you're good. Yeah. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. What am I doing? Oh, fuck. I got to get trees. I'm shipping orders. We'll see you guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah. I am going to edit that video. That dang video. I've still got to do that. It's a great video. It's a great video. Oh, you know what? I got to sl be a slash this, this really quick. Let's do a slashing before we get off the camera. <laughs> I'm going to use my fruit sampler. This is made by Shrade. It's called a, a fruit sampler. But it's going to do the job for me today. This damn plastic I need to take down, weighing down my shit. Almost tripped with a knife in my hand. Come here, buddy. I got something for you. <laughs> that fucked the tree up. It messed the tree up underneath it. It like blew it out. Uh, was, it hurt. It definitely hurt the tree underneath it. And then this is the next one to fill up. It keeps going from the one to the next one to the next one. I gotta get up there and take that down. I get this one too. It's not good for the trees to have that happen to them.
This one tree down here got blasted. This one right here just got absolutely blasted. May not make it. Probably grab some of these too. This did really well with the cold. It's a nice cold tolerant tree. I just repotted all these sapodillas. And they the cold killed off all these bugs that were on them finally, the ants and shit. Which is a good the, that was one good thing about the cold. But this one's actually whew, almost stepped on this tree. I forgot I grafted that little Garcinia's looking good. This one's got fruit. I would hope to sell these one day, the fruit. Alano. We got Alano fruiting, some fruit. We'll try to sell that online. And then the butterscotch, hopefully we'll get some fruit now that they're in, in these big pots. But this one almost needs to be propped up. It's getting blown around. I don't see anything on the the butterscotch trees. Really, they grow so poorly for me. I don't know if it's the rootstock or the variety. The Alano is much more vigorous. Oh, fuck. All right, guys. See you next time.